Nil explains the rules of bowls. The object of the game is to score more points than your opponent. Bowls is a sport that refers to two games that are played very similarly, flat green bowling and crown green bowling. They look the same but are actually quite different, and I'll explain what those differences are now. Flat green bowling. Flat green bowling, otherwise known as lawn bowling, is the more popular variation of the sports worldwide. As the name implies, it's played on a flat surface known as a green, and can be played indoors or outdoors. The green measures a maximum of 40 meters squared. This is split into six sections known as rinks, and the game is contested on a single rink. To start the game, a player will place a mat away from the end of the rink. While stood on the mat, they will roll a yellow or white target ball, known as a jack, down the green. This jack must travel at least 23 meters for it to be valid, and once it comes to a stop, the umpire centers the jack to the midline of the rink. That same player will start from the mat and roll one of their balls, known as a wood, down the green towards the jack. Once they have completed their shot, it's their opponent's turn to do the same. Players have four woods each and take it in turns to ball their woods towards the jack. The idea is to get your woods as close to the jack as possible. You get one point for being closest to the jack and then score one additional point for every wood that is closer to the jack than any opponent bowl. In this example, red scores three points as three of their woods are closer than the nearest opponent bowl. In this example, red only scores one point as only one of the woods is closer to the jack than their nearest opponent bowl. Once all the woods have been bowled, the score is recorded and this is known as an end. A new end will begin from that side, bowling in the opposite direction. Crown Green Bowling Crown Green Bowling is the lesser known variety of the sport and is generally played in the north of England. There is no standard measurement for the green, but on average it measures around 45 square yards. This game is only played outdoors. The biggest difference in this game is that the green surface is not flat. There is a mound in the middle of the green, known as a crown, that players have to negotiate when playing their woods. Not only do they have to control the bias of the woods, but also figure out the slope of the green. To start the game, a player will place a mat one yard away from the edge of the green. While stood on the mat, they will roll a larger jack down the green, but this time, they can roll it in any direction, and the jack must be played where it lies. There is no centering of the jack, and it must travel at least 21 yards for it to be valid. The aim of the game is the same, but this time, players only have two woods each, and they're significantly smaller than flat green woods. They take it in turns to try and get their woods closer to the jack than their opponent, and scoring is exactly the same as well. Once all the woods have been bowled and the score is recorded, a new end begins at the spot where the jack had previously landed. In crown green bowling, the entire green is fair game, and there are no rinks. So if there's multiple people playing, you have to watch out for other people's oncoming jacks and bowls. You'll notice that the woods seem to curl down the green. This is because the woods are not uniform. One side is heavier than the other because it's shaped differently. This is known as the bias, and different woods will have different levels of bias depending on player preference. There's a lot of strategy involved in this game, and whilst it's not the most physically demanding sport in the world, it requires a great deal of skill, dexterity, and strategy. That's basically both forms of bowls, but there's a few other things that you'll need to know about before playing or watching a game. For example, format. Different games and tournaments have different ways of deciding who wins. You could win by points, i.e. the first one to score 21 points wins. You could win by playing sets, i.e. the first one to score 8 points wins a set, the first one to 3 sets is the winner. Or you could play by ends, i.e. the highest amount after 10 ends wins. Forehand backhand. When you curl the ball towards the direction of the palm of your hand, 
This is known as a forehand shot in flat green bowling or a finger peg in crown green bowling. When you curl the ball away from the direction of the palm of your hand, this is known as a backhand shot in flat green bowling or thumb peg in crown green bowling. Types of shot. There's generally four types of shot that bowlers use to deliver their woods down the green. A draw shot is a strategically placed wood where the bowler tries to put the ball in a specific area. A guard shot is used to get into the way of your opponent. A drive shot is used to take out your opponent's woods. And a trail shot is where a bowler will try and take the jack along with the bowl to move the jack closer to their own woods. Ditch. In flat green bowling, the end of the rink is known as a ditch. This is a recess filled with sand. If a ball does not touch the jack and lands in the ditch, the ball is dead and is disqualified from play. If the ball does touch the jack, this is known as a toucher, and even if it lands in the ditch on this or any subsequent play, it's still live. This is why you'll see umpires spraying woods with chalk. This is to denote a toucher. If the jack lands in the ditch, it's still live and players will have a difficult time trying to get their wood to touch the jack whilst it's in the ditch. Dead End In flat green bowling, if a jack is played, knocked or encroaches another rink, then this is a dead end and the end is replayed in full. In crown green bowling, any player that results in the jack leaving the green is considered a dead end and the end is replayed in full. That's a lot to take in but as you watch or play bowls, the rules will become clear. If you found this video at all helpful, please like, comment, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things and good karma is very much appreciated. Be sure to follow me on Twitter also and share this video on Reddit, but in the meantime, enjoy bowls.